Hey folks, this is Scootin' Fool, and I'm in a different vehicle today, and yes, I know I got my helmet on. You may recognize this is not a Jaguar. It doesn't say Jaguar right there. And that's also not a picture of a cat. I've talked about my Jaguar before, loved my Jaguar, great car, when it ran. Uh, it was a wonderful place to sit, which is what I did a lot of, actually. I spent a lot of time sitting in that car, <laughs> because it was broken. In any event, it was a really good car for what it was. Unfortunately, in the time that I owned it, I spent over $5,000 in repairs, and it was just time. I was done, especially because the transmission was starting to act funny. So, what I'm doing today is a quick run over of my new wheels. I had just gotten the Jag fixed, gotten the heater fixed, and then I'm driving along, and here it starts shifting up and down, up and down, up and down around 40. So I'm thinking, oh crap, the transmission is starting to go. So I said, well, I can't afford that. The transmission jobs, and even where I work, where I'm going to get a break on the cost, is still going to cost me at least a grand. So I said, you know what? I'm done. I can't do this anymore. So I started looking for cars. I had an appointment to get a look at an FRS, a Toyota FRS, well, Scion FRS, same company. I got there on Thursday morning two weeks ago, and they'd already sold it the night before. So life goes on, no big deal. One of the problems with the Jag was I always felt like I had to explain it to people, because here I am, a guy who works for a nonprofit organization at the time, having to explain how I could afford a Jag, because I had people actually ask me, well, you work here, how can you afford a Jag? Well, the reality was I only paid seven grand for it, so that's how I could have afforded it. The problem was it took premium gas, premium oil. I had to replace the rack and pinion twice. The tie rod ends kept going. It was just it was a mess. Too many problems, and even though they were mostly Ford parts, so they were less expensive than Jag parts would have been. You know, it was time. It was well over time. After I went to the Toyota dealer, they didn't have an FRS. I went and I sat in a Mazda Miata, because I'm thinking, it's about time for me to have my midlife crisis. I'm 42. Let's do this. <laughs> went and sat in the Miata. It felt like I was sitting on a rock, and I had to get so far down into the thing, I felt like I was sitting on the ground. I'm like, my wife will never get in and out of this. I can barely get in and out of it. I need something better. I looked at the Fiat 500. I had a vlog about that a couple weeks ago. And it was actually quite nice. Lots of room, as much room as this, maybe even a little bit more. Very comfortable, very nice, a nice place to be. Lots of red stitching. Now this has black stitching, but it's still very nice. Again, this is a Fiat. Let's face it, this is owned by Fiat. So I settled on going back to the Ford dealer. I'd been over to the Ford dealer and they'd said, well, we can find you a Fiat 500. Just come in and we'll look over what's available and we'll find one for you. I said, okay. Well, I went there fully intending to go through that conversation, and I saw this. Now, you've got to understand what this is. I'm going to stop here a second and throw on the flashers. This is a Dodge Dart. Okay? It's orange. <laughs> With black tinted windows. Premium wheels and little blue goobers on the end of the valve stems. Yeah, a car like this is going to catch your eye because that's just what a car like this does. It catches your eye. I said, well, I really want something sporty, something fun. I was looking at the little Ford Focus ST. The problem with the Focus ST, aside from the name of the Focus ST, which makes British people laugh, it was going to be more than I wanted to spend. I looked at the sticker on this. They had a sticker on this that said nine ninety-nine nine. Yeah. I went online and I looked at the Kelly Blue Book for dealer prices for this. It was about a thousand to five hundred less. So let's talk you through the Dodge. Okay. I like used cars because with used cars you basically get all the bells and whistles that the original owner paid so much for. Like with the Jag, I got heated seats, all that stuff. The original owner paid 50 grand for that car. I paid seven. All in all, a good deal on the surface. Original owner of this car paid 20 grand. Paid less than half that. This has Bluetooth. It has a leather wrapped steering wheel. It has all the controls on a steering wheel. It has cruise control. Does not have electric seats, does not have heated seats. 
it's got plugs for everything USB a little auxiliary jack uh, two DC plugs there's all sorts of settings on the little TV here I'm playing the music off my iPhone and then there's the handling it's a front-wheel drive car front-wheel drive cars tend to understeer this however has a computer and other witchcraft underneath the hood that controls the transaxle that controls the front differential all that fun stuff that's in there so that when you're going around a corner it does all the stuff it needs to do to actually go around the corner this corner is better than the Jaguar did and the Jaguar was a purpose-built sports sedan for enjoying a nice road like this one Th this here road where I tested it the day I got it on a day like today when the roads were wet it was actually raining a little bit more heavily and it just went around the corners no questions asked just oh, there's a corner okay I'll go around it no problem we're good the fuel economy the fuel economy is just amazing when I took this to Massachusetts last week I went on a two-day trip to visit my mom when I got back on the mile per gallon reader said 39.3 39.3 miles a gallon nearly 40 miles a gallon in a little four-cylinder 2.0 liter car this car gets fantastic fuel economy that's original Prius territory the original Priuses were getting about that the Jag was about 14 something to remember about the Jaguar is it was built in Britain so the fuel economy reader was actually set to imperial gallons which is fine if you're in Britain but if you're here in the United States where we read American gallons it's a difference of a liter per gallon that difference does make a major difference in the reading so while it was saying I was getting like 15.5 miles per the gallon with my back and forth trip to work I wasn't now this I get about 27 which is fantastic for just going back and forth to work now it's not as great as a scooter by any stretch it's about that of a regular motorbike so to be honest I really probably won't ever bother with something with a bigger engine in it because this gets about the same fuel economy as a Bergman on the highway let's face it Bergman 650 on the highway about 40 miles a gallon this is already getting that so there's no point in getting the Bergman sorry folks I would love to get a Bergman somebody gives me one I'll take it I'm not gonna pay for one not when I'm already getting that fuel economy out of my car I'll stick to having the fun rides on the little 150 because let's face it taking a 150 is just fantastic fun so highway I didn't even realize I looked down I'm doing 80 without even realizing it now there are a few things with this car that are the downsides of it if you're looking to buy a Dodge Dart this is 2013 you may run into some problems keep up on your maintenance keep up on keep the thing clean if you let the salt sit on it for too long you're going to end up with stuff rusting underneath let's remember this is an Alfa Romeo made by Fiat yes but it's an Alfa Romeo underneath Alfa Romeo Giletta actually see look at that going around the corner I'm doing 25 no slippage no nothing and these aren't even great tires these are Kumos one other thing to recognize about this car is the power delivery put your foot down makes a lot of noise then it decides it wants to go it takes a little bit that that actually was pretty good compared to what usually happens what usually happens is I put my foot down and it says oh what do you want what do you want oh you want to go okay now you can switch it into dual clutch mode and use it like a sequential shifter if you want and that's actually pretty good under the sequential shifter I could probably get about 0 to 60 in 8 seconds but as it's currently set I'm not looking at that so anyway folks I got to get into work thanks for listening thanks for watching have a blessed day and please like share and subscribe